All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be an overview of this knife, and this is the Spyderco UKPK Salt. And so that means that this is in LC200N steel, which is a steel made by Zap, the Zap Group, and is also known as Z-Finit steel. But when Spyderco uses it, they call it LC200N. And what this steel is, is it's a nitrogen alloyed steel with very, very high corrosion resistance. So it's very unlikely to rust. And for that reason, Spyderco uses it in their salt series, which is their series of knives that are designed uh, for use in, you know, wet environments, whether it be fishing or, you know, maritime pursuits like sailing and boating um, or even, you know, people who work in in the water and things like that or if you just don't want your knife to rust uh, so that's what spider coast salt series is and this is the first ukpk in that series so what is the ukpk well ukpk stands for united kingdom pen knife and what that means is that this knife and the, all the knives in this series are designed so that they are legal in the united kingdom now the united kingdom has stricter knife laws than the u.s generally and certainly than where I am, and they don't allow for locking knives generally to be carried. So knives need to be non-locking. Now, I enjoy slip joints. If you watch my channel, you know I am a big fan of traditional knives, but it is nice to be able to have a knife that you can open with one hand and carry clip to your pocket. Um, but the way to do that is to have a modern slip joint, and that's what these um, UKPKs are. They're a modern slip joint or what Spyderco calls a slip it. So they have other slip it's also like the roadie and the squeak, other things like that. Um, so it's designed to be able to be carried and used in the United Kingdom by being non locking. But it still has a lot of those characteristics of a Spyderco knife just without the lock. So as I mentioned, it has the spider hole so you can easily open it one handed. You can see there, there's no issue with opening it one-handed. Um, some modern slip joints have really, really strong springs, uh, spring pressure that makes it difficult to open the, uh, the knife one-handed. Not so here, it's, it's easy to open one-handed. And uh, it also it has the clip. So a lot of slip joints don't have a, a pocket clip and it, it can make them less convenient to carry. Uh, the Spyderco UKPK still has the clip, so you can carry it just as easily as a locking Spyderco and, you know, be good to go. And then it also has kind of the classic Spyderco styling. It has a, an ergonomic handle that's designed to fit the hand well. It has a leaf-shaped blade, which Spyderco has kind of become known for. And then it has a high-end steel, uh, like a lot of Spydercos in the LC200N. So it's got a lot of nice features. Uh, an interesting thing here is that the clip and screws are blacked out. And uh, my understanding is that that's because they are not LC200N steel. So they are coated so that they you know, don't rust while, while the rest of the steel, the back spring and the blade is LC200N. Another interesting thing about this knife is how the back spring works. So it's not like a, a traditional slip joint where when you start to close the knife, the back spring raises because this is actually not the spring that is putting pressure on the blade. If you look inside here, this is actually a split spring. So it has a, a second bar on the inside that's actually part of the same you know, piece of metal, but it's a second bar and that's what actually puts pressure. So as you close the knife, it will raise up again. You can see that, and then it sits back down in there to uh, hold the blade in the closed position and also in the open position. So it's a little different than a typical traditional uh, back spring on a slip joint. And then the other thing, and I'm not sure, I don't have a, another UKPK to compare, but if I recall correctly, the, the last UKPK that I saw was my brother's, which was one of the titanium ones. So I don't know if the other uh, FRN versions like this, which is FRN, uh, injection molded plastic, have this open backspace here. Uh, but I don't recall the, the titanium UKPK having that. Uh, that's an interesting feature, and I wouldn't be surprised if that was only on the salt. 
because you know it allows water to go through the handle there a lot more easily. So that's something that I didn't know was, was a feature on this knife from pictures on the internet. I haven't seen any pictures showing that, so I wanted to make sure to show that off. But back to the spring. Uh, the spring works really well, and one really good thing that Spyderco does is you can see there actually is a cut out there. So it looks almost like a back lock, but it, it's not a back lock. It doesn't lock. You don't have to do anything to unlock the blade. What that does is it just allows a little catch on the spring to sit down into the tang so that it's a little bit more difficult to, to close the knife. It's not going to just you know slide past that like on a traditional slip joint. Uh, you have to kind of break a detent almost to get it to, to start to close. So it gives you a little bit of extra safety. And then I want to show here also, you see that half stop? That's the same thing. It's actually the blade hitting this little catch here. So it's not like a traditional slip joints half stop where it's a flat uh, part on the tang. It's actually a little cutout that causes almost like a second detent feeling. And the reason for that is so that if you were using the knife and it did you know, slip, it's gonna catch there before it closes fully on your hand, hopefully. So it's a nice little feature and I think that Spyderco has put a lot of thought into how they do their slippets, how they do the UKPK and their other slippets. But particularly, I, I feel like this is a really good application of a modern slip joint. I think it's better than most. Um, now, I wanted to mention about the blade. The blade seems like uh, most Spyderco knives to be ground really well for cutting. I will say, and I'm sure somebody watching to this point will be mad at me for not mentioning it earlier, but I haven't used this knife. I got it and uh, just haven't had a chance to use it yet. So uh, I haven't actually, you know, experienced the cutting, but it sure seems like it is ground well, you know, for cutting. It's a, a nice high flat grind and is thin looking like most Spyderco knives but has a nice taper also towards the tip. But I will say one thing I was surprised about on this knife is the blade to handle ratio. You can see there's like about at least a quarter inch that could still be used for the, for the blade. The blade could definitely be a little bit longer. Now, why they do that, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's just that, you know, I don't know if Sal or, or Eric designed this knife, but it doesn't have either of their marks on it but whoever designed it maybe they just didn't prefer to have you know the the full length that they could or um you know i don't know why they designed it that way but i did check with the dealer to see if maybe mine was ground a little bit too much or something but uh indiana knives which is where i got this um said they pulled another one out and it was the same so just be aware that if you get one of these it's going to be you know not quite as long as it maybe could be in the in the blade but you still get a pretty good amount of blade. Another reason that they might have done that is for blade length limits. I mean, certainly it's not something I have to worry about, but a lot of places you do have to consider the legality of your blade per its length. So uh, just something I wanted to mention again. Now, uh, I also wanted to say there's no blade play in this at all. Even when I you know, break that detent past the full open, I don't feel any side to side blade play. So it's nicely done and the action is nice also you can see it definitely will snap closed so I do like that I like a slip joint to stay closed and then like I said easy to open and I don't have any difficulty closing it with one hand either um, you can just kind of push on the back with your finger and you're good to go so um, I think it's a pretty cool knife I uh, again got this from Indiana knives for about $89, I believe. Uh, funnily enough, I couldn't find it on White Mountain Knives where I have a discount code. And then I realized that it was just that instead of UKPK, they have it called the um, UK Pen Knife. So uh, I just wasn't searching for it correctly. But you can get it for 10% off at White Mountain Knives. And they had it as of available as of you know, my recording of this, or, you know, it's available at other places also, but you can get 10% off and it brings it bound down to about $81 at White Mountain Knives with the code knife thoughts. So, you know, consider using that. And I think it's a cool knife. I think it would be great for a fishing knife. If you wanted to, 
you know, have a de dedicated fishing knife that you could put in your tackle box or your tackle bag and not have to take out, not worry if, you know, your bag or your box gets wet. It shouldn't rust. Uh, a lot of knives, if you did that, if you left them in the tackle bag or the tackle box and the bag or box got wet, it would probably rust. Um, this LC200N should do pretty well. I also think it would be great for someone, you know, who can't or doesn't want to carry a locking knife uh, and wants to carry a knife that they don't have to worry about. You know, you're not going to have to worry about it rusting. You can use it, use it on fruit, things like that. Put it back in your pocket without wiping it off and it should be fine. And then uh, finally, I, I do think it would, it would be good for some, you know, maritime type things like working in the water. Although in some of those instances, you know, maybe the, the quite pointy tip and the non-locking wouldn't be ideal. But I definitely think it would be great for, for fishing, which is what I got this knife intending for it as a, as a fishing knife, uh, kind of a dedicated fishing knife. So I've enjoyed getting to uh, have and check out this Spyderco UKPK salt version, and I hope you have also enjoyed getting to check it out. If so, make sure you give this video the thumbs up, and you can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to know when I post uh, new, uh, new videos and other videos. <laughs> um, and then also check out my Instagram and Facebook at Knife Thoughts and my website, knifethoughts.com, where I post articles on knives like this and knife-related topics. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.